A beloved YMCA, YMCA sleepaway camp is permanently shutting down. It's the latest casualty of the pandemic. The YMCA camp of Greater New York served thousands of kids over the course of a century, and now many are fighting to save it. CBS 2's Christina Fan reports. For 102 years, this YMCA campground in Orange County has offered generations of children a change of scenery, a breath of fresh air. Emily Van Ingen spent most of her childhood summers here. So has her 13-year-old daughter. It's why news of its closure is so upsetting. I could barely think of worse news than this for my family in general because we've spent so much time there and we've given so much, we've gotten so much from this camp. The YMCA of Greater New York says the pandemic decimated finances, leading to a loss of $100 million, forcing the nonprofit to list its property in Huguenot. In 2019, 1,200 kids attended with over a third receiving financial assistance, many of whom wouldn't have had any other place to go. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It's all very equalizing. And there's very few situations in life that young people have that kind of experience. Van Ingen, who is now a YMCA board member, is hoping to find a solution. She not only launched a GoFundMe page, but also started a petition drive to try and buy more time to raise the $5 million the Y is selling its campgrounds for. What we need is an angel or a couple of angels uh, that could help us raise the funds to purchase the camp. I had took my best friend with me. And that was her first year, and she was very excited to go back this year. And when I told her the news, she was very devastated. It was just such an amazing place. A spokesperson for the Y told us they are currently evaluating all offers and are still committed to providing financial support to send city kids to neighboring and partner Y camps. In Midtown Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Board members tell us the Y has received an offer of $4.6 million for the property and is giving petitioners until the end of today to match that offer. Families are hoping for an extension of that deadline. Fingers crossed. Keep them posted. It's like an oasis out there, right? Yes. And it's seen those pictures thinking about summer, I really? Know. Wow, it feels Not like too a far away. distant concept. I don't know. <laughs>